And they came down about 1996, the Caro did, to reveal the secret because they said they were in the time of Pachacuti, the time when the world is turned over, the end of time. And that now it was time to reveal their secret. And they said that the secret was that you could turn your body into light. That you could, you could, you could actually almost glow with light. And of course, we know when Jesus came back after being three days in the cave, uh, and supposedly had died, he was um, <clears throat> so bright that Thomas said he couldn't even look at him. In, uh, in the Tibetans, they have the same exact thing. Pavasambhava stayed in a cave and turned into a being of light. The alchemists say that there's these beings of light that walk among us, and they help and direct human history without us knowing it. They make us think that we're doing it. Okay, they make us think that we are the ones who are changing the world for the better when actually they're nudging us along. And they don't want to be known because the bad guys are looking for them. There are bad people, and they're looking for them. But these guys are a lot smarter than the bad guys. The bad guys want the elixir very badly. The reason that we're releasing this secret right now <clears throat> is because Robert Cox, the guy who's releasing the secret, has been told by the masters that, <clears throat> that this age is ending now, right now. I don't mean like next year, now. And he said that the summer of hell is beginning and that we must release the secret by November because even the internet will probably fall apart. And there will be nowhere else to release a secret. And if we don't release the secret, it may be forever forgotten because we've forgotten it so bad. Now here's the key. Fulcanelli tells us that when the secret's released, the Iron Age ends. That the only thing that ends the Iron Age is releasing the secret of the elixir. That once we have it and we can live a long time and we're no longer, can you imagine not having children until you're 80? And then they go to college until they're 45? How many people are going to serve in the military if they're going to live to be 300? Oh, yeah, I'll sign right up. Sign me up, ready to die. I only got 380 years left in this life. That this, this, this simple thing of, of, of an elongated lifespan can actually change our dynamic. We're not in the hurry that we're in before. We're not in that desperate scene that we're in before. We're now, ah, every second is longer than the second before. We're gonna, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen. We're going to pop through that hole at the end of time, and we're going to look at each other and go, well, I don't know about you, but I'm really embarrassed about what was going on back there. That was really stupid. Were we really that stupid? Huh? What caused him? Pardon me? No, five dollars a month. That's how it cost to join his little site and hear it. No, 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 no. He doesn't want any money. He just wants money to. But no, 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 you can't, get, you can't sell this. Selling is part of the Iron Age. <laughs> so people do in the Iron Age. We're not interested in that. All that old stuff's going away. That's why people say, oh, fascism's coming, and oh, this. I'm going, no, it's not. <laughs> Believe me, you have nothing to worry about there. It's all going to be over long before the, those guys get their mitts on anything. But they're working on it. They still believe in the old paradigm. And so we, 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 uh, we begin to understand that this whole thing is working in conjunction with everything else. And that the stars and the planets dictate the uh, quality of time. And the quality of time dictates when you can do your experiment. And, and sometimes the experiment is a worldwide experiment. And it happens spontaneously whether you want it to or not because everything's clicking together. It's, Click, 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 and there's nothing you can do about it. And the golden age starts, and it's almost over instantly. You, you know everything in an instant. And then the whole rest of it is just remembering it. 
So it's going to be like, we're going to go, whoa, you know, this is what's going on. And, and it's already happening to a lot of us already. And then we're going to quickly start building monuments and writing and books and trying everything we can to remember what these incredible things that we caught, got at this moment in this change of the quality of time. And, and then it begins to deteriorate, just like everything else. It starts, it's winding down again. But it, right now, we're in this great, glorious moment where anything can happen. Any possibility can happen. What I like to say is, what's going on here, you guys have all seen that movie, The Secret? You know The Secret? Okay. This, this movie, it's not a great movie, but it is a movie. And I, I think, I, would, I don't think I do recommend it, actually. In fact, I recommend just let me tell you about it instead of wasting your money on it. Um, <clears throat> basically, it's the law of attraction. It says, you know, if you really want something really bad enough, you'll get it. Wow, whoa, big surprise, right? And they go through the whole movie, and of course, everybody wants, uh, um, apparently, the only people they could find in this movie that had the secret were people who wanted unlimited sex, and people wanted 18 bedroom houses in Beverly Hills. And I was watching this going, that's all you want? You can have anything you want and you want an 18 bedroom house in Beverly Hills? What is wrong with you? And, and, and even in the movie, the interview, this guy goes, oh yeah, I, I wanted to get all the sex I wanted, so I used the secret. Did you get sex? Yeah, got laid every day. Was it nice? Not really. I'm looking for someone to marry now. You know, because the Chinese say, be careful what you wish for. Because if you wish for something and it isn't really what you want, you're going to get it. Okay? You're going to get it. And you're not going to be very happy with it. And it's going to make you very disappointed. And the key to the secret to the law of attraction is to keep it simple. Don't wish for an 18-bedroom house. You ever see this movie, Bedazzled with Brendan Fraser? You ever see this movie? I highly recommend it. Brendan Fraser gets three wishes from the devil, okay? And so he says, first wish, he goes, I want to be really rich and have a big, huge mansion, lots of servants. So she clicks her, the devil, clicks her fingers, and he's in this big, huge mansion. And he's got tons of servants, only everybody's speaking Spanish, including him. And he's like, I'm speaking Spanish. I don't know how to speak Spanish. You see all the subtitles, it's hilarious. And... And, and, and he's, hey, I'm just pretty cool. And he's walking around the house. Not bad. Not bad. I like this thing. And all of a sudden, he starts hearing these helicopters. And he runs out to the great thing overlooking his, his great estate. And he sees these 15 helicopters coming, you know, at him. He goes to a servant, what's that? He goes, oh, it's probably the U.S. Marines. He says, well, what are they coming here for? He goes, I guess they're coming after you because you're the biggest Colombian drug dealer in the world. <laughs> so he got his wish. But he wasn't right. He was a Colombian drug dealer, and they killed him. So the key to the secret, the key to the law of attraction is to keep it simple, not to make it complicated. And so, you know, I set out 25 years ago with my own law of attraction, and it wasn't to get rich. I just wanted to know the truth. I said, I'm not interested in anything else. I just want to know what the truth is. And, you know, I, I'm, I'm a truth atheist. In other words, I don't care where it leads me. I want to know what it is. I don't care. I'm not coming in with any preconceived beliefs. I'm sure I have them. I fight as best I can against it. But I just want to know the truth. And I think I pretty much found the truth. And, and, and but what, what 2012 is, is a collective law of attraction. It's the secret of the secret. We now know that anyone can get whatever they want if they really work on it, if they wish on it, they concentrate on it. You know, you can be a great athlete. You can be anything you want if you work at it. You have to have some skill. <clears throat> but as we approach 2012, we're going to begin asking ourselves, what is it that we want, not I want? What do we want? And between now and 2012 via the Internet, radio shows, conferences, and all the other things, we're going to be asking ourselves this question more and more. Because this world is going to get so bad, so corrupt, so, it already is, but it's going to get worse, that we're going to 
face this crossroads where it's either suicide or change it. And so what I'm saying is that we need to come to grips with the kind of world that we want, and we need to keep it simple. We don't want a world, well, we can't have a world where everybody has an 18-bedroom house in Beverly Hills. It won't work. So we need to say, keep it simple. What kind of world do we want? And I'm not here to tell you what kind of, I, I, I can come up with some suggestions. We want a world where we love each other, where the food is good, where our children can grow up in a place and not be harassed by gangs and violence. We want uh, someone to love and someone to love us. I mean, just, just simple things that we can, and, and if we have that, then, which we don't have, by the way, um, the world we create will be a world that we want to live in. And we need to shed this idea that everything is just me and I and mine. Because it isn't that. We are all one inside the apple. We're all in here. We're all inside the center. And we're all divine beings, every one of us. And if you can't see that, I, I'm going to give you a little practice. When you're walking down the street, put the Taurus, that's what this is called, this thing, put it around. Put it around uh, everybody you see. Just imagine it. Imagine that every person you see has this, this field around it. And imagine that in, when that person is in spiritual health, this field is almost infinite. And when they're uh, not in good health or when they're being oppressed, it's tight. It's clinging to them, like, a, like close to the skin, like being in a crowded elevator. And everybody, you know, they get all tight, you know. They don't want to touch anybody. <laughs> and, and the goal is to make everybody's higher dimensional field infinite. And, and if, if your field is infinite, then it's easier for my field to achieve that. But if you're in a constricted state, then you're going to cause everyone else to be in a constricted state. So it starts with you. And, 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 and something else happens when you see this field around everybody. Even if you don't really see it, just imagine it. Remember, one of the parts of the word imagine is magi or magic. A strange compassion begins to come into you. You no longer see anybody by race or creed or sex. All you see is this. And when you see that, you realize that we're like astronauts with our space suit on, you know. And I have this suit and this is my suit, but it's not me. It's not me. Just like your suits aren't you. This is your suit. This is who you really are. And when you get that, and by the way, this is what the chakras are, right? That's the, the center of the magnetic sphere of the spine. It's what your aura is. Is what halos are. This is the grand unified theory of it all. You can't understand anything until you get this. And they don't want you to know it. It's outlawed. It's the first law. Do not eat of the tree of knowledge. You are not allowed to know this. And when we know it, we're free. 